The diaphragm is a parachute-shaped muscle connecting to the lower six ribs as well as the thoracic spine. This is the muscle that allows us to breathe, talk, and sing. It separates the vital organs inside the rib cage from the rest of the internal organs in the abdomen. The upper and lower borders of the body give attachment in front to the anterior longitudinal and at the back to the posterior longitudinal ligament. The lamina provides attachment to the ligamentum flavum. Now let us move to a bit tricky part, the transverse processes. Interestingly, most of the muscles getting attachment have the term transverse in their name. The costa transverse having three varieties, superior, inferior, and lateral, the intertransverse, and the levator costi posteriorly. The spine gives attachment to several muscles, most importantly trapezius, rhomboidus, latissimus dorsi, the serratus posterior superior and inferior, and other muscles of the back. Now, if you can observe closely, the names are indicating a lot regarding the attachments, such as costotransverse, where it's indicating that one end of the muscle is getting attached to the transverse processes, while the word costo is basically indicating that the other end is getting attached to the ribs. Then we have the intertransverse. This is basically indicating that the muscle is getting attached to the two transverse processes subsequently. So in today's lecture, we discuss the osteology regarding the thoracic vertebrae, including the typical as well as the atypical varieties. So I hope you find this lecture helpful. Do like, share, and comment down below if you have any queries regarding the thoracic vertebrae. I'll be discussing the lumbar spine and the curvatures in the next lecture.